hi to Chaco. I think it's more like, um, you know, I remember I once made the account like play well or something like. Like our like focus's name, like focus. So you, uh, your own name reminds you, your in-game name reminds you of what you want to achieve. You know, you want to focus or you want to be happy or whatever. Be careful, the scary tree behind you, Chaco. It's fine, it's fine, guys. I know this guy. I know this tree. It's a tree of ages. For the trees is the trouble the mountain king we have a mountain king first by the way against orc which is super duper interesting right is that not interesting that's interesting and this cobalt is dead and the mountain king with th three footmen and a four soul shadow priest they killed this level five wizard and now they're going for this uh no brood this no camp the no brood gets bashed more footmen more footmen it's going for an expansion of course he's going for an expansion and then my question as always is does he build a second barracks does he buy a lot of mercenaries or does he go for towers i don't like the tower play i like the uh you know heavy unit play maybe maybe like what two towers or so one in each base is dolorian in the game i don't think so sonic is in the game some other people Unless this is DeLorean. Tap, tap, tap. Is that DeLorean? The Mountain King sitting here. We have some footmen. Does he build a second barracks, Chaco? <laughs> we, well, I'm talking about after the expansion, obviously, right? Danny. The first time here, viewer. <laughs> Blade Master gets a stronghold on his face. This Ogre Magi is dead. Nice. He even bashed it just to make sure he was dead. This first was Shadow Priest. Oh, he doesn't kill it. Why does he not kill it? Because he is going for the Berserker. <laughs> he lets it go. He lets it go. He lets it go. Meanwhile, this first soul is dead. He wants his Berserker so badly. But look at this first soul Shadow Priest. It's, it's alive. And now he's building one tower. One tower is fine. You know, one. I don't mind one tower. The Berserker though is dead. Now we have level two Blade Master. He's building a lumbersmith. Uh oh, does it mean he's building a lot of towers? There's an attack. Level 3 Mountain King now. His fourth soul shadow priest just healing himself. Just healing. Who's in the finals, guys? It is Lucifer versus Happy. Uh, nice. Bash Stormbolt on the Blade Master. Blade Master is going down fast. He uses a windwalk to get out of that situation. Opposites are best. My name was I can't solo, but I eventually made the front page of Azeroth solo letter. Yeah, I mean, use reverse uh, psychology on yourself is also good. And there's the town hall is going up. For so Shadow Priest is done healing himself, so he's coming back. He's uh, you know he can now heal other people besides himself. There's a tower over there. We, uh, so many towers over here. So many towers, guys. So many towers for Boca. And there's the double bestiary. Very forward, you know, very forwardly placed. Mass Raiders is the counter to the strategy. He can kill town halls, he can kill over here buildings, and then the town hall, and then the everything else. He's just gonna kill everything with the Raiders. And here comes the Blade Master. What can he do? Can he kill a peasant? He has mana. He has one, mana for one more windwalk, but uh, not if he gets hit by the arcane tower. Of course, he can only get one in, hit in. Is he going for a panda, perhaps? By the way, or is he going for a shadow hunter? Let me just check that here in a moment, real quick. He has mana for one more windwalk. He uses it. Okay, what do we get? We have no shadow hunter. Oh, he's going wyvern even. Okay, this footman is dead, or is he dead? He is dead, guys. Here comes the Mountain King. No mana on the on the Blade Master. He could kill him maybe with a surround. Can he surround the Footman in place? No, he was so close. Um, but the next Stormbolt, he has to use a Speed Skull to get out of this situation. This guy took a lot of damage from the Grunts. They just want to kill this First Soul. Hey, they finally killed the First Soul Shadow Priest. Here come the Wyvern. Do we have towers? We have, uh, you know, we have some towers. We have one tower. Another tower going up. Um, yeah, I mean the tower repair five peasants apparently enough against two wyvern. No, apparently just not enough uh, Maybe six would be enough six or seven 
The Mountain King was just standing there. Building more towers, getting defense. I think a Berserker should be available to help defend. There's a the fifth Wyvern. And uh, does he get a second hero yet? No, no second hero, just solo Blade Master. Level 2 solo Blade Master. Takes the Footman. Meanwhile, these Footman, they do have defend, right? So they're going, or they, they're upgrading defend right now. So uh, they are going into the base, and guess what? They're going to do a lot of damage. The Burrs are not going to be able to defend. Wyverns aren't going to be able to defend. The Grunts are over here. Blade Masters all the way over here. These Footmen are going to do so much damage. They're going to just gonna stand over there, maybe with the whole position, with defend. He's going to get another Footman. The Wyvern. Stormbolt, he's dead, guys. Nice Stormbolt. A nice bash there on the Grunt. Blade Master attacks the Mountain King a few times. These towers are going up. And there's an attack. They're attacking each other. There's four towers there. This footman takes a bit of damage. He's just going back home to defend against these footmen that are killing all the peons. Look at this peon. Is he going to die? <laughs> and uh, now they're just standing there waiting for the grunts to join them. But if he pays attention, maybe he wants to right click a burrow. Just a burrow. But he is a micro footman over here. This footman dies. Still four wyvern. And a mountain king. He's attacking here to keep. Yes. Three towers, building a fourth tower. The footmen, they're running now from the grunts. The grunts are, you know, defending in the back. Uh, berserker is available. Bad force, the Shadow Priest, and the Berserker. And here comes the Blade Master and the Wyvern. You can probably cancel this Arcane Vault pretty easily. Nice, nice cancel. Rebuilds it in a bit of a safer spot. Uh, another tower up over here as well. Good man. Raccoon. Uh, he's going to Fortress. Fortress here for a worker. Wow. Maybe he's going for an expansion. Tier 3 expansion, of course. Pocket expansion. Working on this farm. Comes a Mountain King, though. He has mana for one Stormbolt, only one. There it is, by the way. And the Berserker and the Troll helping out, killing this Wyvern. While Wyvern is dead, he, uh, well, he doesn't have mana for more Stormbolt. So this Berserker is probably going to die, but the Berserker for Wyvern is pretty good. Especially if you have an expansion, the Wyver uh, Berserker is dead, the first Troll survives. His footman going for the Bestiary, where are the Grunts? Here are the Grunts. They can defend easy peasy, the Blade Master. He's going for this farm, I guess. This tower is up. He's building another tower. He has Masery level 1. And uh, what a beautiful game. These grunts working on his footman. His footman and needs to retreat. But there's a Mountain King. He has mana for one more Stormbolt. He could probably kill a, footman, uh, a grunt. Blade Master has pretty low hit points. And I wonder if he took damage from the towers. This footman dies. And this grunt is probably going to die. And uh, this footman also takes a lot of damage. There goes the grunt. Blade Master comes back with the Wyvern. What a game, guys. What a game. Fortress going up. Spirit Lodge is up. And he's going for Spirit Walkers. No War Mill, by the way. So that means he cannot get the Burrow Reinforced Defenses upgrade. Mount King with the two footmen are uh, walking around. He's going to Castle. He's getting a Paladin. Triple Griffin Aviary here for Boca. He's going for Dragonhawks. Ah! Ring of Protection here for the Blade Master, and he's just killing all these guys. Ah! So much armor now on this Blade Master. 39%. Meanwhile, the Mountain King killing some Murlocs over here. Does he get a Tome of XP? He wants a Tome of XP. This footman, is he going to die? This footman has 14 hit points. Uh, now he might him back. The first Shadow Priest could heal him up. He didn't get a Tome of XP. He got a different one. Ah! Oh, this footman has 2 hit points, guys. The 2 hit points is enough. Meanwhile, the Blade Master just got a replenishment potion over here. We do have a Shadow Hunter now. Dragonhawks. Does he have the Animal War Training? Not yet, because he's not a castle yet. Uh, but he's going to castle. So at some point he will get it. He's getting improved lumber harvesting. 
Here comes the Blade Master, two grunts and one Spirit Walker. He's still initiated. Is he? Uh, he's still initiated. He's building the Warmill, by the way. But do you have engagement here? No. No. So we have an expansion up. Of course, a pocket expansion. Um, tiny Great Hall expansion. Under 23 critical strike there. Let's see. I assume he has the poison on the wyvern, by the way, right? No, not yet, I think. Not yet. Okay. Well, here's the invisible mountain king. He can kill a few peons, but you probably will have to TP out. Where's the blade master? He's over here. What a game. The Mountain King killing peons. Shadow Hunter here creeping. Blade Master on his way back. If it's just a Blade Master, I guess he doesn't have to TP out. He can just walk out. Nice bash, Stormbolt. Do we see poison yet? No, no, right? Where's the poison? Poison of Creator healing. Okay, that's nice. For the Blade Master, maybe. Mountain King killing this last peon. He wants his peon. It's uh, 64 hit points. Oh, goes into a burrow. 104. Look at these critical strikes. 123, 141. Stormbolt on the peon. Um, Mountain King has to run. He has to run, guys. Let's see how fast he can run. The Shadow Hunter is over here. Maybe he can cut off the Mountain King. But he doesn't have boots. He doesn't have a speed school. Oh, but the Mountain King going this way. He's, he's dead, guys. He's dead. No, no t time for TP. He's just dead. And we have, what do we have here? Two footmen. They can harass maybe later. Level 4 Mount King will take 110 seconds to be revived. He's going for Griffins now. He has a bunch of Dragon Hawks. Did he get the upgrade? Not yet, actually. He's a castle. We forgot the Animal War Training upgrade. How come we're forgetting this key upgrade? Animal War Training. Uh, poison on the Wyvern. He's going Bat Riders now. Maybe he... I don't know, maybe felt the uh, intuition. The dragon hawks are coming. The air units are coming. I'm not sure if he scouted this at all. There's a blacksmith. Oh, he needs a blacksmith for the animal war training, of course. I thought he had a blacksmith. Town is under siege. But I thought wrong. There's the uh, storm hammers. Yeah, no poison. A player's forces are under attack. Uh, Mountain King is he back. The Mountain King is back. Blade Master scouts the base. Sees the Griffin Aviaries. Where is the Animal War Training? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> your blacksmith is up. Your, your castle is up. You have a lumber mill. You can't get the Animal War Training. These guys are so low on hit points. Bad Riders are going to be... Uh, he has a few Bad Riders, right? Two, three Bad Riders. If they can actually blow up, if they don't get shackled, they're going to do quite a lot of damage to these low hit point uh, Dragonhawk Riders. But... I don't know if he can fight here. These griffins and so many dragon hawk riders, even with three bed riders, I don't think uh don't think Worker can win this. He has five bed riders. Six is black and seventy-nine. These guys are zero zero by the way. No armor upgrades. These guys zero zero. The spirit walkers are still initiate. Does he get the animal war training? No animal war training. And there go the bed riders. Ah two more bed riders. Uh, they get shackled though, and oh, one does explode. And most wait, where did the dragon hawks go? They're all exp a lot of them died already. But uh, you know, it's just a few wyvern left. It seems like uh, maybe Boca did lose this fight, but he kills the expansion. So in in the end, it wasn't a horrible fight, right? The orc has to spend a lot of money. The, the I mean, the bad riders, they're gone. The bad riders are gone. You know, you used them, and they're gone. So it's, they're not very good if you ha your opponent, especially if your opponent has more income than you do. He's getting there the armor upgrade, but you need the animal war training. Hello. Still no animal war training. I mean, the upgrades are nice. What about orc worker? He has a level four shadow hunter, level five blade master. He's going for another tiny great hole. Five and four against four and one. There it is. Shadowhunter is creeping to level 5. He's uh, uh, He probably will hit it level 5. 
about 214 XP. So this creep camp, he has this creep camp, he has this creep camp. This, uh, these murlocs. Boca, on the other hand, yeah, he has a green creep camp over there that he can creep. We don't get a third hero. We don't get more casters or any upgrades. This guy's still initiate. I guess he's there's nothing to dispel. There's no water elementals. There's no forces are under attack. Slow inner fire, etc. So these guys are now one one. Here comes the mountain king again. Invisible mountain king, killing some more peons. What is this? Oh, these peasants! Three dead peasants. I'm not sure what they were doing there. Was he planning to build towers? He's Mount King, man. He's waiting his opportunity. Suki's already level 5. He got the parry up. He got the claws of attack. He got the items. Maybe give the claws of attack to the Blade Master. That's what he does. Also, the potion of greater healing to the Blade Master. Mount King sitting there. The Paladin, level 1. Poker just sitting at 50 supply. Look at this gold, guys. 2.5k gold. Over 1k lumber. There's another Dragon Hog. Can you please get the Animal War Training? Please. Getting all the upgrades is nice, even getting the second armor upgrade, so now they're two and one. Uh, there will be two and two, and then three and two, but no animal war training. <laughs> Blade Master. Mountain King Sneaky. Sneaky Mountain King, yeah. Maybe he's too greedy, Boca. Maybe he should be building units. Let's see if a worker can just destroy him at this point. Bad Riders, Wyvern, still 0-0. Zero, zero. He finds a dragon hawk over there. <laughs> the paladin wanted to creep this creep camp. But at least the mountain king now can kill some peons if he wants to. He only has an info potion though. Paladin in trouble. He's a little hermit crab now. He's going to die, guys. Paladin. Two, what? 224 damage. We have a lot of towers here. He should probably be able to hold his base at least. And the mountain king is killing peons now, finally. Wyvern are beautiful. Bad riders are beautiful. Boca is going over 50. Look at this. Three more griffins, nine more dragon hawks. And the paladin will be back here in a moment. These towers, are they going to be enough? What does he have in units? He has four griffins now and one dragon hawk. Uh, okay. He still doesn't have. He still doesn't have animal war training. <laughs> All his units just dying to bad riders. Paladin is back and uh, militia are killing the spirit walker at the very least. Mountain King killed all the peons, so no more income for. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of income here still for Orc Worker. Uh, Dragon Hawks, they can. Well, wait, where did all the. Okay! All the air units have been killed here. Orc Worker, maybe shouldn't have fought near the towers. They probably uh, killed the, the Wyvern, etc. Orc Worker done 31 supply, no, not much of an income. And Boca will get a bunch more Dragon Hawks. He still has his. Oh, and he will have to find shield now. There it is. This first just went Lich first. We've seen him do that before. The Mount King is beautiful. Oh, he's, he's retreating, guys. Blade Master with the orb. Level 6 Blade Master. Sulkis has no mana, though, for Hex or anything. Look at the Mount King. So sneaky, sneaky Mount King. Walking over oh, the bad riders is do they see him? No, they don't Or wait what blade masters boy find him, but it's too late already isn't it Mount King might be able to get to the towers Yeah, the blade master uh, the Mount King has boots of speed he can easily get to the towers It's also a paladin that could have come and uh, saved him Stormed on blade master be careful there's towers here and he's losing so much mana and hit points and everything Still no upgrade here for these dragon hawks Still only 575 hit points, guys. 575 hit point dragon hawks. 825 hit point griffin riders. He's getting more griffins. Wait, he killed his force so shit, please. Poor guy. So, uh, this expansion is back up and running.
bunch of bad riders here. He needs a third armor upgrade. And he needs an animal war training. Come on. Why even get a third attack upgrade instead of a third armor? I don't know. I don't know. Like, the attack is not as important. Okay, you go to bad riders. The yeah, just to fight me. Everyone dies. Oh, maybe not. Nice split here. He got a few shackles, but this one is going to die. This will free the bad rider. It's a blade master. No, he lets him go. Oh, this bad rider. Look at him. He gets a healing wave. And uh, there's another bad rider here with two hit points. He dies. Bunch of griffins, militia, everyone working together. Finally, you see this teamwork here by Boca. Uh, nice storm on the Shadow Hunter. He doesn't have an info potion, but he walks out anyway. And wow, those hammers kill the spirit walkers so fast. We soon have mana for one more Stormbolt. Nice bash on the Kodo. The Shadow Hunter's level six, Blade Match level six. He comes one more Bad Rider, but you know, there's some more Bad Riders killing the Griffins. This Blade Master, man, so low on hit points. And Mount King used the Info Potion, by the way. We have mana for two more Holy Lights, but the uh, Sage Truth Bearer, the Paladin, is not level three yet. Two more Griffins. Some more grip fans, still no, no war training, you know. 2k gold left, 400 gold left, 9k gold left here, and 150 gold left over there. Beautiful towers, three more, uh, you know. Ah! Ah! Blade Master kills the tower, and this Kodo is in some trouble. The Kodo retreats the Shadowhunter. Shadowhunter is being focused. Stormbolt will help a lot. Some passion. Oh, and there's a GG. What a game, guys. GG. First game goes to Boca in his best of five. Yeah, that's it. Four movies is what I've seen in well, pretty much last year. I mean, I saw more in the airplane. So I saw some movies at the start of July of last year. No one streams the finals? I guess not. <laughs> I just know what stream the finals. Happy streaming the finals. Lose for streaming the finals. Do you like StarCraft? I like StarCraft, yeah. I watch, uh, I sometimes watch StarCraft after streaming. Uh, Kigami is kills his no. We have Kage Kigami and the Grunt here creeping while Boka creeping this creep camp what <laughs> this is the first creep camp he's creeping that's evasion creeping you know he walks all the way around the map to creep these creeps and orc worker just you know killing some gnolls <coughs> and uh, this gnoll brute is definitely going to die here in a moment <coughs> he's going for this creep camp now there's a footman over here you can see what he's up to Archmage, uh, he's not level 2 yet. Kapling! Thanks for the 250 bits, CrocDog101. Thanks a lot. A player's forces are under attack. And there's a, a Null here. Null is going down. Is he's dead? The Archmage is level 2. Footman is retreating here. The Grunt is hunting down the Footman. Here we have another Footman. Kills so many Nulls. Peril Spellbinder. He's going for the voodoo launch. He's going for the voodoo launch, guys. One water elemental does expire. And... You know, we have two grunts. We have a blade master. This footman here. Takes a lot of damage. He's retreating. What a sh damage done here by the blade master. He's still level 1. A player's forces are under attack. Did he go four grunts? No, right? He only has three grunts. Okay. Three grunts. Perfect play here. Blade Master does have a clause of attack. Arkman says a circlet. Blade Master sells TP, buys a uh, boost of speed and a circlet. Uh, Arkman, he wants a boost of speed now. Yeah. Because if he doesn't, he will keep taking damage here off the blade master and eventually die. Now he buys the boots and uh, meanwhile we have some footmen over here just standing. Doing nothing. The grunts creeping murlocs. Now let's see what's happening here. The blade master, can he go... Can he kill the blade uh, archmage? He's rattling the archmage. That's pretty, pretty beautiful. Quiddy. Quiddy beautiful. Blade master just hit level 2. 
Meanwhile, the footmen, are they going to the base of Orc Worker? Uh, maybe they can cast us in tier 2. There's a Shadow Hunter about to be born. But, uh, you know, you might lose a footman or two. But if you can cancel these tier 2 buildings, it's so good. They're outside of the base. They're so vulnerable. Arcane Sanctum going up. Mount King going up. Footman, which one are they going for? This one? Yes. Spirit Lodge. They don't have defense, so the burrow does quite a bit of damage to them. Here comes the Archmage with the Water Elementals. There it is. And everyone going for the next PC area. This footman, does he uh, run? This footman is a hermit crab. Taco flavored keys. Thanks, Clock Dog 101 for the subscription. No, the footman goes down and this footman as well. Uh, Taco flavored keys to you. Let me just give them to you in chat right now. You deserve them. Uh, where are they? Here they are. Uh, and yeah, thanks for the support and welcome to Chaco Bell. There they are. There's your Chaco, taco flavored keys. The bestiary did stay up. Right, so. That was nice here, but Orc Worker saving his bestiary at least. He will have raiders, but the Spears Walkers are going to be so late. You will the Archmage creeping over here. This, this No Warden is next. This No Warden is dead, guys. And this no. Meanwhile, the Blade Master just going for his Ogre Magi. The Shadow Hunter is creeping over here on the left side of the map. He he hacks one of the Ogre Magi. He's a sheep right No, wait. This is a real sheep. <laughs> this is the Ogre Magi, of course. <laughs> For some reason, I thought this was the Ogre Magi, but that's just a sheep, guys. That's just a sheep. This is the Ogre Magi. The Bunny Ogre Magi. He's a bunny. And what item did the Blade Master get? A potion of greater healing. Pretty good. <laughs> he's the footman. Does he, uh, he goes for the footman. Footman fights back against the Blade Master. Archmage is going for this Drake. Chaco, you're easily top 10 all time streamers of the Capsule Cup easily. Thanks, Matt Davis. That means a lot to me. Finds are already over? No, their finds are alive right now. Archmage is working on the dragon. Dragon is. Is he dead? Dragon dies. And we have a nice flute of accuracy, which is a nice item here for Boca. All units do extra damage now, plus 10% damage. Wow, Boga's leading. Yes, he's leading one Players to zero. And he's getting... Uh, he's getting sorceresses and spellbreakers. He's going for this Ogre Warrior. This Ogre Warrior also dies. This Ogre Magi is next. This Ogre Magi takes so much damage. School of the Beast, not bad. Archmage is now level 3. Mount King, almost level 2 here. Shadow Hunter is all oh, Shadow Hunter is about to hit level 3 though. He got a nice Hood of Cunning from this Ogre war, uh, Lord. Hood of Cunning is not a great item. It's not a great item, but he got the Ogre Lord item. Now he just needs level 3 Shadow Hunter. And uh, Orc Worker is in a beautiful spot. Boca, I don't, I don't know. This this opening that he did, that evasion creeping, looked amazing. It looked amazing. Then he cancelled the Spirit Lodge. That looked amazing as well. But I feel like he's gonna lose this game, guys. The Blade Master is too strong. Assuming he picked level 2 Critical Strike, he's just... He's just gonna kill everything. Shadow Hunter is about to hit level 3. A player's forces are under attack. Boca leading 120. There's a reason I call him 120, not 120. I call him 120 because if I... If we call him 120... You get these confusing situations right now, William Blake. That's why I call 120, 120 and not, you know, 1 to 0. This uh, Forceful Trapper is going down. He's dead. Roar. Meanwhile, this Ogre Lord is also dead. Medallion of Courage is another not great item, but at least he got better items than Crystal Balls. Some uh, IQ on the Shadow Hunter is always nice. This uh, Zerator, you know, is beautiful. We see uh, this fight. Of course, Orc Worker is going to win this easy peasy. But let's see Boca try. Let's see him uh, try and, and, you know, suffer. Nice 198 critical strike here by the Blade Master. Now let's go for this Water Elemental. And the Mountain King fighting against the Grunt. And the Grunt is uh, winning this fight, of course, against the Dwarf. Easy fight for the Mountain King. Uh, a lot of units are dying, but that's just part of the game. Uh, so many peasants are dying. The Blade Master 201 critical strike. There's a healing wave on the ground. 
His code is not hungry at all, but the sorcerers now, their next GG there by Boca. And it's 1-1, guys. It is 1-1. One, one. I don't know, man. I don't like object oriented uh, program. I like protocol, <laughs> prototype oriented programming. So, um, you know, I have no idea. We have an arc base here for Boca. Of course, he's creeping this already. He's killing this rock golem. We should do an IRL coding uh, learn stream. Yeah, we could, but uh, we don't have to. There's nice boots of Quatalas here on the Archmage. Once a week with different languages. Usually when he doesn't know, he will still give an interesting answer. Well, not today. Chaco, what hero has the best name in all of Warcraft 3? Uh, Lapis, of course. Lapis! Because he's peasing over all his friends. The Blade Master kills two gnolls. The Blade Master takes a bit of damage uh, by Boko the Archmage with the Boots of Quilt loss. Boka going for these gnolls over here. Blade Master is back. Blade Master, can he get the last hit? Oh, I know an interesting uh, answer. Maybe when you're making a virtual program. That's when you use virtual uh, classes. Blade Master gets the last hit there. Uh, I think. Yeah. And uh, this Blade Master doing a lot of damage to the Archmage, but the Archmage is too fast. By the way, Archmage is 26 agility. Blade Master also 26, so they're just as, as agile. Both heroes just as agile as the other one. How about a teach ladder to code class? <laughs> like, a, we could teach a dog maybe to code. Ladder the dog. His footman, uh, yeah, he should be tanked with the water elemental, but here comes the Blade Master. This no overseer attacking the water elemental. He's gonna expire. Blade Master working on this no overseer. This no overseer down to 98, 60. Uh, last seven, seven hit points. The footman they kind of have him, uh, you know, in the corner, but he has mana for a wind walk, so it doesn't matter. He died, get, did get a nice item, one of these items. It was nice. I guess a close of attack because he bought a uh, circlet earlier. This footman still on hit points, 28 hit points. The blade master is he gonna kill the footman, guys? Ah. He's dead. Oh, is he going for an expansion? Or is he just gonna use a militia to creep? He's going to tier 2, so expansion at this timing. Don't see it very often. But maybe he was planning to it, uh, for it, but here come the guns. Orc worker with the guns. This grunt is moving a little bit. This peasant is, is being attacked by the blade master. Archmage, beautiful. Peasants going back to the base, of course. Meanwhile, over here, nothing happening over there. Meanwhile, over here, uh, an exciting match over here. Uh, exciting fight, or not really fight, but chase. Exciting chase, just like you see on American television. These are like the police. These are like the criminals, and these are like the uh, look. Here's the opposite, right? Here's uh, the criminals, like the Archmage. And the police like the Blade Master, you know. It is uh, it's a beautiful game. The Archmage has boots. The Blade Master does not have boots. The Archmage gets away from the helicopter. Archmage, uh, Blade Master. And the uh, Archivolt going up. Okay, great game so far. Blade Master attacks the peasant. Attacks him again. But two attacks on the peasant. Not enough to kill him. I uh, could have blocked the Blade Master there if he wanted to, but he doesn't want to. He has boots of speed. He's not afraid at all of this Blade Master. Not afraid at all. He's just like zero afraid. It's, is that a word? <laughs> zero afraid points in his heart, guys. He's going to be on. He's scouting. There's a Shadow Hunter. Tier 2 is up. Do we see a Mountain King again? Yeah. Are under Last time I got pulled over, the cop did look like an orc. Yeah. Oh, 
Archmage, he has two pairs of shoes, by the way, of boots. Just because the horse, he has uh, two feet. So of course you need, you know, you cannot just <laughs> just get one pair. That looks that looks weird, right? If you just have the front feet or just the back feet or one foot in the front and one foot in the back with the uh, boots. No, he has four feet, so you need two boots. So he has a boots of the last and a boots of speed. And this is perfect. Meanwhile, the Mountain King. Oh, a piggy. Good, good, good. Of course, the Shadow Hunter needs to be creeping to level 3. He gets his uh, old stuff up. His Raiders, his Spirit Walkers, maybe a Kodo later. He has this uh, Warmer up already, anyway. And level 3 Shadow Hunter. And uh, look, oh, look at that item. Hello. Rope of the Magi. Gloss of Haste is going to be great for the Blade Master. I think Boca is going to lose again, guys. Is he going for this expansion? Ring of protection on the floor. Does he pick it up? He picks it up. Stormbolt on the blade master was also quite beautiful. Uh, it's water metal, you know, just chilling at three hit points. The mountain king takes it out. The first old trapper goes down to the blade master. He has plenty of mana. He's not afraid, guys. The blade master is not afraid at all. There, a tome of uh, intelligence on the floor. Zog zog. A player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. The Chaco stream Boca vs Sonic only game two. Chaco hates me. Uh, okay. Apparently, I hate Scar Scarl Boro. I. Uh, I mean, I, apparently, I've n I've no influence on it. Here, there's a nice instant on the footman. We have a sorceress. He's, he slows the, the Shadow Hunter, but the Shadow Hunter is so strong. The Blade Master is so strong. He might not be level three. This expansion is not going up, guys. This is going to be GG for sure. Ten supply lead for Orc Worker, and he has the stronger heroes, and he, uh, you know, has a good timing here on this. Uh, well, the towers might go up. One tower did go down. These towers are maybe saving grace. Militia flank attack might help a lot. There's only two spirit walkers and they're killing towers. Shadow Hunter is surrounded. Is he? Uh, he gets out of the surround. Here comes peons. Maybe one of the peons wants to build a shop. And that's exactly what he's doing. Building a shop. The Mountain King dies, of course. 116 critical strike is enough to kill Mountain King. Uh, the Spirit Walker goes down. This was a water metal just before it dies. And uh, we have another Spirit Walker, though. So, uh, that's nice. Blade Master 192 critical strike is pretty decent. Uh, but really, you want critical strike over 200. So, hopefully, next critical strike will be a bit better. Come on. You can do it, Blade Master. 150. Hello. That is that's horrible. You have critical strike times three. There's 162. That's a bit better. Like, what is the max damage you can do, actually? 90, 69, 180, 207. Yeah, he could go over 200. Up to 207 critical strike. Orc Worker is 2-1 up over Boca. Mount King first and a footman. Mount King and a footman. Uh, there's a footman. There's a Mount King. There's more footman. This footman is going to scout. Uh, maybe you should scout this house. What if in this house there's a grunt hiding? Actually, I don't think a grunt can fit in this house. Maybe a peon hiding in this house. Why doesn't the footman look inside? So silly. The footman is so silly. Mountain King is gonna be here in a moment. But the Mountain King first, we will see this fast expansion, don't we? Yes, yes, we will. Yes, and he won. He won the first game where he fast expanded. So maybe he will win again, guys. Boca might win again. This footman in the back of the base of Worker. Worker going for this apprentice wizard. Wah! Bath ropes, bath rope streaming big pimpin. It's my stream, guys. The pimpin bath rope stream. Blade Master finds the footman. He's just right clicking the footman, doing uh, using his biggest sword on the footman. And another attack. And uh, you know more attacks. More attacks on the footman. Next attack. Oh, another attack. The footman down to 199 hit points. 165 now. Blade Master doing a great job. Meanwhile, the Mountain King got a claws of attack. Mantle of Intelligence. Great if you have an Archmage, but you have a Mountain King. Well, the Mantle of Intelligence is still pretty good, but the claws of attack, you know, not as good as if you had an Archmage. Right? You, well, in all cases, you always want the circlet, but still saying circlet would have been great. Claws of Haste 
uh, adds more bashes, so that's nice as well on your Mount King. He's going for this base over here, maybe an expansion over there, but Grunt scouts it, he sees the, the footman. Hopefully he doesn't forget Animal War Training this time. Uh, hopefully. He's going for the Assassin, let's see if the Blade Master is there in time. We do have a Stormbolt, no, Blade Master not in time. Oh my god, too close of attack now. And uh, he does so much damage. The Blade Master, look at him, He's, he took a uh, full uh, 32 damage by this one attack of the Mount King. Uh, these two peasants, super long hit points. Uh, and one dies. The other one also dies to dead peasants, guys. Do we see another Stormbolt on his Blade Master? Blade Master is killing a footman. Stormbolt on the Blade Master. Uh, Blade Master is doing just fine. This Grunt, though. Bash. Bash. Stormbolt on the Blade Master. He survived, so there's no dust. So this Grunt is probably going to die. Even though there's only level 1 Stormbolt. Stormbolt and like an attack or two is enough to kill the grunt. There's the Stormbolt. The Blade Master tries to block. One attack is not enough. And the Blade Master gets the last hit in. But the Blade Master almost dies to the bash there. He links off. He has enough mana for Windwalk. There's no mana for Stormbolts. Hi Chaco, can you explain why Orcs skin are green or are human races against them? No, of course they're not racist against Orcs. Uh, no, they're, they're green because they... Uh, they take energy from the sun with, uh, you know, just like plants. These peons are great. The player's forces are under attack. Blade Master, going to kill this Cobra Tunneler for sure. And let's see, Cloak of Shadows, nobody wanted, but it's what he deserved. Oh my god, beautiful timing here. This beast here is going to be cancelled. Does he have defense? Does he go defend? Does he think about defend no no defend but he he does get a beast here a nice bash pretty sure that's for the warhammer 40k orcs oh we have well maybe then it's because uh it's camouflage right because they're all fighting in the woods or on the grass or whatever and it's always green around them so if they are green no one sees them Plants are green from chlorophyll, Jocko. Okay. So chlorophyll is, uh, that's what, but that's what uh, absorbs the sunlight, right? And for, turns it into energy. This, this town has got up, this arcane vault is up. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, again, with the Mountain King first, Boka's game is looking pretty strong. The Demolisher, Demolisher is going for second Demolisher. Let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see how this Demolisher attack goes. And Boca, not that many towers this game. I like this a lot. He has only two towers and he can buy all the mercenaries because he doesn't invest all his money into towers, but instead into units. Actually, he doesn't have money for this uh, Berserker because he attacked already. No, Boca, you need this Berserker. It's so important. Boca, don't forget about the Berserker, Boca. Leave a footman behind or something, or build a farm there. A player's forces are under attack. The berserker. Okay, no berserker. Imagine this attack with two demolishers, killing everything. Normally, you can't imagine that because you have a berserker here to help defend, and then this uh, bogus army is just stronger than this army. Look, besides the demolishers, like what? Well, one coda, two grunts, and two heroes. There's nothing. He's building a raider now and a third demolisher. Shadow Slayer is only level 2. Boka should be able to defend easily peasily if he just had a berserker. But he doesn't have a berserker, this baby seal footman is going to die. He does have a four star shadow priest. He can dispel hexes. Six footmen. Here come the demolishers. Nice attack on the town hall. Hits it in one shot. Another one, another hit, nice. This one also hits it. Towerish, watch towers incoming. There's a Berserker and there's Muddy. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see if Boca can defend. 50 spying is 47. Uh, so many Blade Masters, there's fake Blade Masters and the fake Grunts now. School of the Beast used here only on the Footman and the First Source Shadow Priest because these other units, they come in from a different angle. Going for the towers first. Uh, the Stormbolt on the Kodo, he wants the Kodo, he wants the Towers, he wants the uh, Demolishers maybe. Uh, and this Kodo, you know, he's doing great. It comes another Footman. 
Text the demolisher. This code is still alive. Stormbolt on the Kodo. Muddy. Maybe can slow some demolishers and he can kill them or whatever. Kills the Kodo. And this Berserker has to be careful. It's the only, uh, you know, real DPS unit that he has. Surrounds the Shadowhunter. That unit went down. Berserker went down. Shadowhunter is healing himself, but uh, he's going to die, guys. He's going to die. The Mountain King is being a, a piggy, but not anymore. And he gets the XP for the Shadowhunter. With two demolishers still attacking. And uh, these demolishers. Is he going for the demolishers? Now, meanwhile, Worker has uh, no speed skill on his Blade Master. So the demolishers cannot be saved easily. His food has super low hit points. And he's going to continue with the Tower Rush. Shadowhunter would be nice for Orc Worker. Uh, he is going to the Tavern. Maybe. But he doesn't really have a lot of lumber, so I think he should just get a, this, yeah, Shadow Hunter from the altar. These two demolishers attacking for a lot of damage, but there's a rifleman. And the Mountain King with bashes working on the demolishers. Does so much damage. This, this guy has to be careful. Ogre Mauler! Oh, wait, what? He just missed? <laughs> I didn't even see that Ogre Mauler Michael there. It seems like the Dakota just missed. And he did eat it in eventually. This guy is super long hit points. There's another rifleman, just walking past, just taking some damage. Just like a normal day of a rifleman's life. Oh, he did draw out some demolisher shots. Poka, he wants to defend. Before the Shadow Hunter arrives. The Shadow Hunter is gonna be here in a moment, guys. Is Poka at tier 2 yet? He is a tier 2, he could get a second hero. He's getting match rifleman. And a shredder as well. Oh. Go for the uh, Ogre, Ogre Muller save here by killing the Kodo. 156 critical strike here by the Blade Master. The Ogre Muller's back. The Rifleman does go down. This Rifleman over here, one is ensnared. The other one is not ensnared. Stormbolt on the Raider. He's going for the Raider. But if the Shredder can attack, he dies so fast. But the Shredder is just walking back and forth. The raider does go down. 144 critical strike here by the Blade Master. Nice and stare here on the Rifleman. This rifleman is going down. This other rifleman probably also dead. No, let him go. Okay, let him go. Blade Master level four now. Shadow Hunter is so close to level three. Once he's level three, it's gonna be so much more difficult for Boca. Two demolishers still working on this town hall. Mass rifleman. He's getting the rifleman upgrade. He's killing a peon. Work worker at 51, now at 50. Boca just going over 50, is 54. He doesn't care about, you know, staying at low upkeep. He just pays his taxes. Blood Mage out here. I wonder what skill he's picking. I assume Siphon Mana, but maybe we'll see Banish. Here he comes with some Militia. And the Ogre Mauler, super long hit points. Mount King over here with some Rifleman. Steals the mana from the Shadowhunter, but the, uh, the, 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 the Rifleman does go down. Mount King at this side is going for this Kodo with the Shredder as well. Shredder cannot be eaten because he's not tasty. Uh, Rifleman does go down. The Ogre Mauler is so low on hit points. He attacks the Shadowhunter once. Stormbolt on the Raider. Shadowhunter uses the Healing Wave. He's now out of mana. Blade Master, 140 critical strike. Let's see if he has some more nice critical strikes. Nice and stare here on this Shredder. Shredder cannot move. Stormbolt on the Raider. Is he going to die or is he going to, you know, survive? Looks like he's surviving. Nice choice by the Raider. And... Uh, Shredder goes down. <laughs> Shadowhunter is level 3 now, so he can heal for so much, but he doesn't have mana. And the Blood Mage, he doesn't want to have let him have any mana. So he just steals his mana and stuff. Still two Demolishers up. Poka at 49. Worker at 50. Poka still has a higher income. Orc Worker still has higher level heroes. I mean, the second hero, mostly. Do we have any casters yet or anything else? Like any Zeppelins? <laughs> Zeppelin would be nice here, by the way, for Boca. Uh, there's only one Raider. Imagine if he had a Zeppelin here. Or two, even. Imagine if he had two Zeppelins here. He has the money for it. Skodo got the Stormbolt. Here come the Rifleman. Flank attack on these uh, Demolishers. He kills one Demolisher and he's working on the other one. Uh, he's stealing so much mana from the Blade Master, but there's more mana to steal. Yeah, and he's stealing more. The Rifleman. Took out all the demolishers and the Koda also in the back here is uh okay no never mind the Koda is surviving with 259 hit points the shop does go up now the shadow hunter can get more mana clarities 
healing salves, etc. Heal the Kodo, heal everything else, heal. Make sure that nothing ever dies again. This rival full man did get an ensnare. And dies. Why don't he attack Grant with the demolishers? I mean, he could have probably done that. Very much out of water. He's giving some mana to the Mountain King here. And he's just going for the tunnel. He has three raiders now, so that's uh, quite a bunt. Bit. And four grunts, so a lot of damage. There's no more demolishers, but uh, where are these riflemen? They're so far away. We had seven riflemen over here not being able to help with this defense. Eight, even, if you count that one. These two, hello, we have two riflemen over there doing nothing. Boca. Uh, the. You know, it was a beautiful Stormbolt on the Raider. And Speed Scroll, does he get the Mountain King? He does have a DP. Does he DP? No, he just dies. I mean, typical. Here come the Rifleman. A bit late, perhaps. You know, the Dwarf King is already dead. And, uh, you know, they're also missing their two Rifleman friends there at the Mercenary Camp. There's a GG. These two are still AFK. Uh, and, uh... Didn't he have a Supply Lead just before he, he GG's out? I think so, yeah. Pretty sure Boca had the supply lead as he GG'd out. But GG. Orc Worker wins.